Welcome back, refurbers and scruffy looking nerve herders. I'm scruffy looking RGB. If you like retro video games from Japan, then you're not going to want to miss today's Retro Game Hunts of Japan. We'll take a look at a lot of games and consoles in this store's display cases. But if you're more of a junk smuggler like myself, there's no need to worry, because we'll take a look at some junk too. So without further ado, let's get scruffy looking. Okay, here we are in the beautiful display case. They've got lots of nice PC Engine games. We've got City Hunter here for 12,300. There's also Shuby Bean Man for about 4,600. These prices aren't too bad. A little under what they go for, maybe a little bit more in some cases. There's Devil Crash up there, 9,000 yen for that. There's also Jackie Chan in here, um, 7,260 yen for that one. Vigilante some Wataru, Knight Rider, and uh, sorry for the shaking. Um, there's Bikuri Man World there, and I believe this is Spriggan Senshi for 11,000. There's Mr. Heli Daiboken. We've got Saigo no Nindo, the last ninja I believe in English. 11,000 for that one. That one's steadily increasing in price. Also, um, there's some Mega Drive CD games in here too, and some Neo Geo, quite a few actually. I don't own a Neo Geo, I only have a Neo Geo Pocket at the moment. Even some Neo Geo games in here too, Mega Drive games, Zero Wing, Quackshot, and Turbo, forgot the name of that game, We've got Ghostbusters in here for 8,000, Same 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 for 8,000 around there. Aeroflash for 16,000. Some more expensive games up here. Some Virtual Boy games in here too. We got MSX Goonies in the box there. Dragon Saber for PC Engine is supposed to be pretty good. I do own the first one but haven't played much of the second one. Got some Master System games in there too. Wonderswan Color Battle Spirit. That's a good one. It's a good fighting game. Um, some more pocket games. That's 5,000 yen. That seemed like not such a bad deal for that. A few boxed Famicom games in here too. There's Gradius for 8,900. We've got Hanjuku AU Kirby. Cannot see the price on that. Pac-Man's about 5,000 back there. Macross. Not the greatest Macross game, but it does have good artwork on its cover. A few Jaja Mario games. Pretty uh, inexpensive. 2,700. 3,700. Dragon Quest. A few of those. 4,000. Wow, Dragon Quest has gone up. Dragon Quest used to be one you could get really, really cheap, even in the box. Oh my goodness, Dragon Quest 13,000, really? Incredible. Some super, uh, some Famicom disc games there. Xanak for 5,000. You got Night Lore for 3,800. Sweet Home for 13,000. And Akuma Joe Densetsu for about 20,000. Um, lots of good games in here today. Uh, Shubi Man 2 for 3,300 on the uh, card there. Last Ninja for 6,800. And here's a good one, Hanataka Daka. It's a bit faded, but 4,600 is not a bad deal for that. And Torei Nomichi, 2,400. That's not bad for that either. Um, both fun, fun games. I love Hanataka Daka. It's one of my favorites. Tora Bochan, 2,400 for that. That's pretty good. Um, here we've got the Game Boy Collection. A lot of bangers on that one for 2,900. Gradius, Dracula, and I think Contra was on that too. Only for 2,000 something. Elevator Action, gotta love that cute little art there. Um, Contra Spirits, 3,400. All these Game Boy games. Battle Toads, 4,800. That seems like not a bad price. Bubble Bobble Jr. We've got some pocket games down here. Um, Pocket Fighters, I believe, 2,300. Metal Slug, first mission, 3,600. That doesn't seem like a bad deal at all. This one here, 4,000. Uh, Metal Slug, second mission. That also seems like not such a bad price. The Hunchback of Notre Dame there, or Super Hunchback, excuse me. Never seen that game before. But yeah, this one definitely. Gradius, Dracula Densetsu, Konami Racing, and Contra. 
They got the gold punch out. I think you had to be a winner of a contest in order to get this for 39,000. Seems to be in pretty good shape. It's holding its goldness. There's Rainbow Island for 2,300. Legend of Zelda for 4,000 on the cart there. Gremlins 2 is supposed to be a pretty good one. Uh, 2,800 for that. Got 1942 or is that 1943? I'm not sure. Cocoron for 4,700. That one's uh, usually seen a, a little bit more expensive. Uh, Rockman X3 for Super Famicom. Quite a few copies there. Wow, four copies, five copies. Keep them coming. There was uh, Gogo Ackman for 2,200. Vulcan Live Alive. 2800 for that. Here's a faded copy for the same price. Hercules and Kunio-kun. You get Turtles in Time for about 3500 It's not too bad. It's not too bad. It's okay. Pretty Fighta. And Parodius for 2400 Gotta love the Parodius. Mr. Do for 6000 Really, is that one really that much? I want to say that doesn't go for that much, usually. Another interesting JRPG. Um, here we got Dracula, 6,600. Wow. Super EDF and Gaia something or other. I'm not sure what that is in English. Super Metroid for 2,500. Wizardry and Aleste for 5,900. That's about what it usually goes for. Around the 5,000 yen range, I believe. And Dracula for 3,000. Strike Gunner, 2,800. That seems like a pretty good deal for that shooter. Um, Sword Maniac, never heard of that one. Estopolis 2, role-playing game. It's the first one, 4,800. I want to say that's gone up a bit. Got a few controllers here. Uh, 1,500 for this Golden Eye version N64 controller. These are by, these are newer ones that have come out. Conan, always a cheap game, even in the box. Some of these look very pristine. Castle of Illusion for the Game Gear. And uh, Maho no Crystal. Sonic and Tails for 440 yen. That's not bad. If you got a Game Gear, it's definitely one to have for your Game Gear. Contra on the Game Boy. Eternal Legend. 1,400 or 1,700 for that Contra there. Navy Blue. Just a few Game Boy games here that I haven't seen before. What's this? Kawaii Petto. Cute pets. Onigashima Pachinko. Monster Island Pachinko version. What is this? Interesting Gundam game there. We've got uh, Goemon. What else? What is this? Saga, 550 yen, role-playing. It's a pretty good deal. This uh, Boken Jima 2, 550. And we've got uh, Daikson Gen... Daik no Gen Sun, 1,100. That seems like a really good deal for that. Drymon 2, 550 yen. Monster Truck, excuse me for the shaky shakes but I left my gimbal at home this day. 700 yen for, seven to 800 yen, depending on the Pokemon version you want. Roadster is supposed to be a good racer for the Game Boy, actually. I have not played it, but that artwork is really cute though. Very, very cute artwork for that. Okay, we're in the console display case here. Quite a few good consoles. Mega Drives, Game Gears, Mega Drive 2s. We've got a Superboy here for the Super Famicom. 20,000. 11,000 for this Sega Saturn. And a Neo Geo memory card in here for 3,000. And this AV Famicom for 14,000. 22,000 for this uh, Neo Geo CD. Got the Mega Drive Mini, I believe, uh, for 15,000. There's a Neo Geo CD in the box. 
we have a duo CD CD uh, PC engine 18,000 some of these have like $20 off and $30 off not 30 but 3,000 yen off this duo R 49,000 these um, display case uh, consoles are pretty expensive in my opinion um, I don't know what they go for on eBay but got some Dreamcast in here for about 7,000 to 13,000 and some of them have like 3,000 yen off some 8-bit DO controllers the M30 2.4 gig wireless controllers I think those go with um, the uh, six button MD Mega Drive some micros in here Nintendo classic micros GBA micros 25,000 18,000 the silver one I've got some game and watches here old school 8,000 for the Donkey Kong got a clone here that plays Famicom and Super Famicom there's a new AV Famicom in the box and it's 14,000 two of them they have a good selection I just don't think the prices are all that great well look at this poly mega we don't see this very often I don't see this very often there's like three of the modules for the poly mega PC engine and others 18,000 for this beautiful uh, blue N64 and they got a gold one in the box up here for 19,000 about and it's minus 5,000 yen so maybe a 14,000 total that doesn't seem terrible here's a Neo Geo controller in a scruffy box about 7,000 yen some Saturn's up here for 11,000 there's the Christmas edition for 20,000 what else got this fighter stick I did pick up one of these a while back and I haven't touched it um, it's, a, it's a white one came with a bunch of Street Fighter stickers but I have not touched it it's just it's been sitting on my shelf I got the PlayStation with the little monitor for the mini PlayStation there for the little PlayStation here's a Parodius for 8,000 here's another Parodius for 6,000 was that 6,000 I'm sorry Sailor Moon games, a collection of them, Pang. We've got Hoshino Kirby there. I cannot see the price, unfortunately. Pang is about 9,000. Wow, that game's gone up, I believe. We've got Zelda for about 5,000. That's definitely gone up. Rockman X3 in the box for 12,000. Kirby 3 for 4,700. I want to say that's a pretty good deal for Kirby 3. Um, Tenchi Kurao for 7,300. Metal Max. Gradius 3. Some Gundam Wing for 8,000. Kage Tora for 3,000. Maybe, maybe that's not Kage Tora. Cho Aniki there. Got Great Battle 4 for 7,800. Great Battle 3 for 5,000. Bunch of the Great Battle games there in the box. Those are very have very nice artwork. And area 88 for about 8,000. You got Take. Here we are in the junk. It's the junk corner. This is Scruffy's favorite corner, if you didn't know. All right, so lots of things in the junk here. This is what excites me. Anybody else get excited by junk? I know I'm excited. Look at this 500 yen for a Famicom in refurbing material type style. There was an IFU back there. Wow, I missed that. 1,500 yen for a Spice Orange GameCube. We have an N64 controller for 330 yen. That's my kind of price. What else? Oh, we have one of these thingies for the Dreamcast. I forgot what you call them. 800 yen for that. PlayStation, an original PlayStation 3. Some Xboxes. PlayStation. Here's another Famicom, 550 yen. Very scruffy. Needs a lot of love and attention, this one. 900 yen PlayStations, a Wii U, and a third Famicom. Oh, this one is not actually terrible. 500 yen for each of these. They're all nicely wrapped up. 
very scruffy looking. Good fixer uppers. There's a Dreamcast for less than 2,000 yen. Here's a very yellow Super Famicom for 500 yen. A Guardi with a Guardi sticker on it. I don't know who Guardi is or what he does. Maybe a Pokemon, I would imagine. Very looks looks very Pokemon esque. I don't know what that was. PS2s also. Another Super Famicom. That's pretty much all we saw. So let's take it home and take a look at what I ended up grabbing today. Can you guess? You're gonna find out soon. I'm sure you all are filled with excitement. So let's get scruffy looking, shall we? You know, I couldn't resist another junk Famicom. This one is from my favorite section, of course. The junk, that is. Has a nice yellow sign stating, this item has no guarantee of functioning, no returns, no exchange, or no buying back from this store of any kind. But at this price, you can never go wrong. And why not one more? I mean, you can never have too many Famicoms. Can you? This one's a little bit cleaner than the last. Seems to have a little bit more whiteness to it. And finally, you all know I couldn't resist this glittering goldie right here. Just ripe for a good refurbishing and mod. So there you have it. Not one, not two, not three. I mean, yes, three junk Famicoms. These will be the subject of some future modding videos for sure. This has to be my favorite badge of the Famicom badges. I prefer the ones without the FF on them. It just looks much cleaner. Um, these will definitely come in handy for future refurb and modding videos that are coming in the near future. But before that, there will be a video I'll be testing these bad boys out in with some more hardware I want to test out too. So stay tuned for that video. What do you all think? Let's ask R2 what he thinks. What do you think, R2? I think so too, buddy. I think so too. I hope you all enjoyed today's hunt and pickups. I'll be checking out some of these old Famicoms I bought here real soon. That video will be in the end screen when it becomes available. Let me know down in the comments what you'd have picked up had you been here. If you want to help support the channel and receive some nifty perks in return, join the scruffy looking RGB crew. Everything collected will go back into purchasing new video equipment and mods to improve the quality of the channel. Thanks again. And just want to give a shout out to my current members, Mark G, Dan B, Inu Bass, and Return of the Pokemaster. Thank you guys for helping make these hunts possible. And thank you all for watching and participating in the comments and premiere chats. Stay safe everyone, but above all, stay scruffy looking. Who's scruffy looking? <laughs>